Hello children, today we are going to study something about adolescence. Uh, the name of the chapter which is there in CBSE is Reaching the Age of Adolescence. Now, what is adolescence? Actually the growth begins from the day one is born. But upon crossing the age of 10 or 11, there is a sudden spurt in growth which becomes noticeable. Growth is a natural process. The period of life leading to reproductive maturity is called as adolescence. Period of life leading to reproductive maturity is adolescence. It begins around the age of 11 and lasts up to 18 or 19 years. Now, there is one more term that is called as puberty. It is a period of sexual maturity when reproductive organs become functional. When reproductive organs become functional. In human females, age of puberty is 10 to 14 years and in males, the puberty period is 13 to 16 years. It is a transition stage in adolescence. Now, let us discuss something about the changes at puberty. What are the changes brought about at puberty period? The first important change that is brought about is increase in height. There is a sudden increase in height. The height increases due to the elongation of bones in the body. Arms and legs get longer along with the internal body organs. Height of a person mainly depends on the genes that they inherit from their parents. But nutritional factors are also important in growth. Initially, girls grow faster than the boys. But by about 18 years of age, both reach their maximum height. At 18 years, maximum height is reached. The second important change that is brought about at puberty is change in the body shape. Body shape changes. Third important change is the voice box or larynx begins to grow. Fourth important change is there is an increased activity of increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands. Next is development of sex organs and at puberty this is also called as the stage of reaching mental, intellectual and emotional maturity. Now there are some secondary sexual characters which develop in girls and boys. These secondary sexual characters are as follows. Especially in case of girls, development of breast, broadening of pelvic portion and beginning of the menstrual cycle. The secondary sexual characters which develop in case of boys are as follows. Development of beard and moustache. Voice becomes deeper. Development of pubic hair. Now, let us discuss something about the role of hormones in adolescence. During the period of puberty children, the sex hormones bring about changes in the body. These are called as secondary sexual characteristics which are, which we have already developed, which we have already discussed, I am sorry. So there are many hormones which are responsible for development of these characters in our body that we are going to discuss later on. Now let us uh, the main hormones which are responsible for development of these characters they are brought, uh, they are released from the pituitary 
they are mainly follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone which are responsible for release of female and male hormones in their body we are going to discuss these hormonal part in detail later on let us discuss something about the uh, reproductive health now in human population different individuals are at different stages of development of life such as infants children juveniles adolescent and aging reproductive health of society depends upon certain factors depends on some factors which are as follows first important factor is education of the young people health of the young people nutritional needs of adolescents early marriage and child bearing is also a very important factor now if i talk about the education of young people there is correlation between the state of education and birth rate indian states with low literacy rate have high population growth while states with high literacy rate have low population growth rate now if i talk about the health of young people the healthy women tend to have fewer and healthier children young people have the highest infection of sexually transmitted diseases third point states that adolescence is a stage of rapid growth and development it is important to eat balanced food and maintain personal hygiene during adolescence early marriages increase death rate of infants and ladies also women between 15 to 19 years face more complications of pregnancy child birth and unsafe abortion generally lead to their death let us talk something about the very important cycle which is called as menstrual cycle which occurs in female and it is a mark of adolescent stage now what is menstrual cycle it is a cycle which involves the series of cyclic changes in the ovaries of females it is a series of cyclic changes in the ovaries of females during the reproductive period during the reproductive period reproductive period of female extends from puberty and it it is termed as menarc and menarc starts from 10 to 14 years of age to menopause which is around 45 to 55 years of age during this period children every month a menstrual cycle occurs whose peculiar feature is period the vaginal bleeding that lasts for 4 days so period is actually what it is the vaginal bleeding which lasts for 4 days primary aim of menstrual cycle is to prepare the female for fertilization and pregnancy during the menstrual cycle there are few phases the wall of the uterus passes through the several phases which are controlled by two hormones this cycle is controlled by two hormones which are called as estrogen and progesterone the first phase of menstrual cycle usually lasts for 4 to 6 days during this period the lining of the uterus is shed accompanied by a loss of blood This duration of first phase is called as women's period. This phase is called as menstrual phase or menstruation. Menstrual phase or it can also be called as menstruation. Now let us discuss something about the methods to control overpopulation. There are few methods which which are really helpful in controlling overpopulation the first one of them is education young people should be educated that will really lead to control the overpopulation age of marriage next factor is age of marriage it should be 18 years for females and 21 years for males 18 years for females and 21 years for males the third important factor 
which can control overpopulation is family planning methods chemical and mechanical methods like contraceptives iucd birth control pills should be made available to every level mainly and awareness awareness about these methods should be spread fourth is literacy rate should be increased literacy rate should be increased so that people will be more and more educated and they will be aware of the severe effects of overpopulation social organization should also be involved in this field job facilities should be provided to women job facilities should be provided to women community health program should be implemented we should implement community health program now children let us these were all the methods to control the overpopulation let us discuss something about the determination of sex actually to determine the sex there are chromosomes responsible and these chromosomes are of two types they can be autosomes or they can be allosomes allosomes can also be called as heterosomes or they can be called as sex chromosomes on the other hand autosomes can be called as a somatic chromosomes the autosomes or the somatic chromosomes they regulate the regulate the somatic characters of an organism on the other hand allosomes are the chromosomes which are associated with sex determination sex chromosomes were discovered by maclum maclum was the person who has first discovered these allosomes in grasshopper x chromosome especially was discovered by hinking and called as x body by him now x is female and xy male this is a condition of human beings xx female and xy is male we are discussing the condition which is present in case of human beings okay now children in case of female there are 46 chromosomes total out of that 44 chromosomes are somatic chromosomes and one pair of chromosome is a sex chromosome in female which is xx in me and female in case of male 44 are the somatic chromosomes and one pair that is xy chromosome is a sex chromosome fine now this will form two gametes 22 plus x 22 plus x on the other hand in case of males 22 plus x and 22 plus y these are the gametes formed now if i cross this gametes if this female gamete gets fuses with this one it will form 44 plus xx chromosome if this one fuses with this male gamete then this will form 44 plus xy same is the case here with this if this female gamete combines with this male gamete it will form 44 plus xx and if this is combining with this male gamete it will form 44 plus xy out of these since we know that female consists of homogametic uh, chromosomes so this will be a female this will be a male this is again female and this is again a male so this is how sex is determined and ultimately we can say that father is only responsible for the sex of a child now uh, there are some sexually transmitted diseases also let us discuss them the main important sexually transmitted disease is aids this is a very important disease that is aids the full form of aids is acquired immuno deficiency syndrome 
the causative organism for this is hiv that is human immuno deficiency virus the symptoms of these disease include weakness loss of appetite loss of weight there are many symptoms first is weakness loss of weight loss of appetite fever swelling in the lymph nodes now how it can be transmitted hiv can pass on to a normal person from an infected person by sharing the syringes for injecting drugs it can also be infected uh, in, it can also be transmitted from infected mother through her milk to the baby the virus can also be transmitted through sexual contact with a person infected with hiv so this was all about the aids thank you children